Hello everyone, this is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. The reading today is for Sunday, October 20th, 2019. Thank you to everyone joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join us each and every day. Just a reminder that these are general daily readings. Take what resonates and disregard the rest. Now let's get on to the reading. I'm using the Santa Murte Tarot deck and the Eternal Crystals Oracle cards, and everything's listed below. First, we have the Seven of Cups, followed by the Major Arcana card, the Devil, and the King of Swords. And our crystal today is Aquamarine. Okay, starting off today with the Seven of Cups. For some of you, you are daydreaming of what could be in your life. You have dreams and desires of possible relationships, career, family, home, life, financial security, everything that you could possibly want. And each one of these cups represent a different desire, which makes it really hard to choose only one. Today, some of you are caught up in the what could be rather than the here and now, the present time. This is going to make you not decide anything at all if you stay in that dreamlike state of mind. It's nice to have dreams and desires, but when it stops you from making any progress, then you need to snap out of it. This card showing up can mean for some of you, you have too much structure and stagnation in your life at this time. This is a call to shake things up, to feel alive. The number seven energy is one which signifies your spiritual life and a need to look at the bigger picture of your life. Shake things up. Act on one of those dreams. Now next we have the Major Arcana card, The Devil. Well, this card can mean that for some of you, you are dealing with some things that have a hold on you. This can be unhealthy choices that you have made and preventing you from obtaining the things over here that you're wanting to obtain. Now, in the Rider Waite deck, we can see that one of the cups has a snake in it. And so I brought that so that you could see in this deck, this card actually shows a snake in one of the cups. And this can be the energy of the Devil card, pulling you into the trance of just dreaming about all that could be instead of actually taking steps to make those goals and desires happen. For others, you're disconnected with spirit when this devil card shows up. You are being enticed to partake in things that are not good or healthy for you. You know this, but you still go ahead and do it for a moment's feeling of pleasure. And this can be overspending, overindulging in food or drink, not taking care of what your body needs, a lack of sleep, unhealthy substances, and unhealthy relationships. So this card showing up is a warning call to change things now before things get worse. And we have the King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords is a king that is very commanding and will cut right to the truth on matters at hand. He doesn't worry about emotions or feelings. So this could be someone in your life right now or soon will be. For some of you, with this euphoric and devilish energy around you, this King of Swords could be someone who's looking out for you. And that could be an air sign, which is a Libra, an Aquarian, a Gemini. This person might be trying to get you to see that you're going down the wrong path at this time. And I felt doing this reading that this person or the, the energy 
with this King of Swords is showing up for that reason today. Some of you are really starting to go down the wrong path. So that was something that came through very intensely for me for this reading. Now let's take a look at our overall energy. And it is the Three of Wands. Okay. So with the overall energy being the Three of Wands, this means that for some of you, you're starting to take a good look at where your life is currently going. And with the help of the King of Swords, you're waking up to see the unhealthy habits and ways that will not serve you in the long run. And the Three of Wands is about taking the first steps towards your future. You're setting things in motion now and there's no turning back. And this is a very good thing. Now, for some of you, this energy here is not affecting you. And you're just making your plans for a better and secure future ahead. The three card spread here adds up to 23, which reduces to five. Ah, yes. Number five energy. This is change and conflict and challenge. And I'm not surprised with this reading today that we have this number five energy. The pull of the devil card and the indecisiveness of the seven of cups can keep us trapped in our thoughts and unhealthy actions for a long time. Now our crystal today, aquamarine, which has to do with the throat chakra and with courage. And I have a little polished piece here. Um, it's a great stone for communication and clarity. So the guides have chosen the crystal aquamarine for the courage that you will need to rid yourself of this energy today. This is only for some of you who are affected by the devil and the seven of cups energy. Aquamarine can help you release any old patterns or beliefs that no longer serve you. It's time to calm your energy, quiet your mind, and reduce your stress levels. Know that this crystal can help you have the courage and strength to move forward through any difficult situations in your life. Aquamarine can help you stay focused and gain clarity to make the right choices. Be honest with yourself at this time and trust your instincts. Thank you for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe and support my channel. My website is mysticdoortarot.com. It's on the About tab for a direct link. Love, light, and abundance to all of you. Until tomorrow.